Cowboys are headed to the Holiday Bowl, where the only thing that may rival the temperatures is the scoring. From the Dodge Sports Desk, I'm Jenny Carlson, and this is OSU Football with Scott Wright. All right, Scott, the matchup is set, Oklahoma-Oregon. This is a matchup you, in a game, that you really were writing about as being a strong, strong possibility for the Cowboys even a week ago. Why is this a good matchup for the Holiday Bowl and for Oklahoma State? Well, for one, you've got uh, a game like a lot of uh, the games on Oklahoma's schedule this season, two high-scoring teams, two teams both averaging over 40 points a game, both right at 41, almost identical, in fact, in their, in their scoring and a lot of their offensive statistics. Uh, but uh, you've got two, two powerful offenses, uh, two really exciting, uh, exciting teams to watch, and, and both you know both in the top 15, um, uh, both had pretty tough, uh, pretty tough schedules, and and are, and are pretty respectable teams. The Holiday Bowl likes to get teams in that are exciting teams and teams yeah. sort of on the rise. Do both these teams fit that bill? Yeah, I really, I really think so. You look at at the. The problems that Oregon went through with quarterbacks, I, I think they had about uh, half the roster played quarterback at some point during the season. Um, they they really could have uh, could have been a team that, that challenged for that top spot, and technically they were. They're the runner up. So, um, and, and Oklahoma State is obviously uh, maybe a little bit of a, maybe a step ahead of where people expected them to be. And looking to uh, to 2009, you know that's that's something that, that the Holiday Bowl likes to have is is a team that they they get them one year, and the next year maybe they're challenging for a BCS break. You mentioned quarterbacks at Oregon. A year ago, Oregon was, the Ducks were darlings with Dennis Dixon, then he gets hurt, and they sort of fall off, but this is a new year, different scenario. What do we know about the Ducks this year? Well, um, you know, the, you, you don't know a whole lot about the quarterbacks because they've, they've gone through so many, but they've got a lot of talent um, on, on both sides of the ball. Um, they're, uh, they're some explosive playmakers uh, on both sides. So um, a, a pretty dangerous uh, opponent. Um, you know, Mike Gundy was asked if this is the most challenging uh, bowl matchup of his of his tenure. He's played in three of them, obviously Alabama and and Indiana. Um, you know, the uh, the Alabama game was was a tough matchup for those Cowboys, uh, but uh, but this Oregon team is certainly better than uh, than either of the uh, other two bowl games that uh, that Oklahoma State's played in under Mike Gundy. The Oklahoma State team that goes to San Diego for this bowl game will be slightly different than the last time they were on the field. Tim Beckman will not be the defensive coordinator. He's off to Toledo to be the head coach there. How does that affect things for the Cowboys? Well, it's going to be really interesting. They, they only have three defensive coaches on staff, as, you know, not counting graduate assistants. So, um, you know, things are a little bit thinned out at this point. Um, Mike Gundy doesn't want to point to one guy and say this is our, our, our defensive coordinator for the, for the game. Um, he's, it's going to be kind of a, uh, kind of a compilation uh, as far as the effort goes. So, um, you know, Joe DeForest and Glenn Spencer both have uh, coordinator experience. DeForest obviously is a special teams coordinator. Glenn Spencer was a head coach and defensive coordinator at Western at West Georgia back in the, in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So I would look at, at at those two guys as kind of the the leaders. Maybe one of those guys gets uh, gets pulled ahead. But um, but really, it's going to be a group effort to to put this game plan together. The good thing is you've got uh, almost a month to get it together. So you don't have to have one guy leading the charge and 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 putting everything together. The Cowboys on the field. They have finals going on, so practice is a little bit uh, different than normal. What, what is the practice uh, plan right now for the Cowboys before the Holiday Bowl? Well, they're, uh, they'll take this week off for finals. So they'll get back at it on, on Friday. They have practices Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that are all open to the public. Um, you can find the times for those on, on News OK or in, or in uh, Monday's Oklahoman. Um, and, uh, and so that's a good opportunity for fans who maybe haven't got, had a chance to see them since early August, want to get out there and, and check these guys out. The thing about um, bowl practice this time of year is that it's, it's really important for young guys. You, you, give, uh, you give the veterans a little bit of time to rest. Kid O'Hunter and Keith Tosin didn't practice at all in yesterday's, in Sunday's practice. So uh, you let those guys rest up and get, uh, get some extra work. It's almost like an extra spring practice, 15 total practices. So who benefits most from that? A lot, a lot of young guys, a lot of inexperienced guys that are, are down the depth chart. Who, who could benefit most from all these extra practices? Obviously a lot of guys. You got, uh, of course, the, the, the two redshirt freshmen in the backfield, Kai Staley from, from Guthrie and Travis Miller, who were both being uh, considered as, as potential players in the, in the backfield as, as kind of the number four guy this year, but both were able to redshirt. You got uh, guys like that. Nigel Nicholas is a, is a, a defensive lineman. That's a place they're going to need some depth next year, and he could really contribute. The secondary is probably the biggest thing of all. You look at at their top five defensive backs right now. Four of those guys are seniors, so you got a lot of spots to fill. Um, Johnny Thomas and Victor Johnson both played as true freshmen, as did Markel Martin, a cornerback. Um, and so getting those guys even more 
reps, and getting some of the other uh, other young guys that are involved back there some uh, some attention, get them uh, get them some uh, game type experience in, in practice. Whatever you can do to get those guys ready for next year, because you're going to need as much experience as you can get. And the way Oregon throws it around, you might need them in the Holiday Bowl too. You just That's never right. know. Well, Scott will continue to provide in depth coverage of the Cowboys as they prepare for the Holiday Bowl, and then when they head to San Diego. To follow all the news and analysis, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.